Even 11,000 kilometres away from Taiwan, tensions over the island spill out. Pro-China supporters, some allegedly paid by the embassy, even flew a plane with a banner reading Taiwan is part of China over the California meeting place for Taiwan's president and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. But it did little to derail growing bipartisan support in the US for Taiwan. I believe our bond is stronger now than at any time or point. Taiwan <coughs> is grateful to have the United States of America by our side. Tsai Ing-wen steps down from the presidency next year, leaving stronger US ties for her successor. Two historic meetings with two House speakers in the past year raised the chances she and many in Taiwan hope of American help if China invades. And Beijing is furious. The Chinese government's failure to convince Taiwanese they'd be better off under authoritarian communist rule means military force becomes more likely as each year goes by. Already, China's deployed an aircraft carrier group and three other warships near the island, while Coast Guard patrols threaten to stop and search cargo ships going from Taiwan to its outlying islands. China's leader Xi Jinping has promised a resolute response, raising expectations of more blockade drills or even missile launches. But people in Taipei have seen it all before. If nothing happens, then nothing happens. There's nothing we can do to control it. We just get used to it. Beijing says US support for Taiwan breaks prior commitments for Washington not to support independence and pushes this island to the brink of war. The US says China's threats and military drills breaks prior commitments for China to seek a peaceful resolution and justifies American help so the Taiwanese can defend themselves. Bill Bertles, ABC News, Taipei.